Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to create access rights using the XML file. And in case you missed previous discussion about what is access rights and how to create access rights, like different permissions, this check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo with different topic wise, you can visit the playlist. Under the playlist, you can see here Odoo development and here different playlists are available with different task classes. Apart from this, you can see here, this is the Python related tips and this is editor related tips. If you need any support related Odoo, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. And source code also available in the GitHub. Plus we have a different social media pages you can follow to get the latest notification. Also you can support this channel using many ways. You can click to the join button or buy me coffee or the PayPal. So let's back to our main topic like how to create access rights using the XML file. Last time what we discussed is we created a new model right. This is the like this lengthy model. You can see here the school student profile security example and we created access rights in the CSV file. You can see here in the student profile, uh, sorry, in the school module. Under the school module, you can see security file is here. And you can see here the CSV file we created, right? So you can see the first line is the head part of the CSV file and rest, uh, rest is the records for the specific model. And we gave the crude operation like permissions like write, read, delete, or the create the record for the specific model so we are now doing the same thing the same thing in the xml file only so for that like we needed the security folder in case you don't want to create the csv file and you have to manage in the xml side that is also fine you can create for the security folder in your module so in in this case you can see the school is the module name security is the folder name under the school module and here we have to create an xml file search data file so data dot xml you can add any name that's fine but yes let's say you are trying to create a csv file then you must have to use ir dot model dot access this model name and then after dot csv file otherwise it won't be work there is a one good thing is in the odoo side you can add any name of the file name there is no any restriction here right so here let me add the utf encode then after odoo right and here simple we can create a simple record something like this so this is the basic idea about how to create uh, records in the XML file might be you confused or this is your first time then my suggestion is you can refer this playlist so you will get a lot of information from here like how to create a CSV file how to create XML file how you can handle many to one, one to many and many to many relationship fields in the CSV side as well as in the XML side. So this is the basic overview and if you don't know how to create the first priority is first check this one and then after come to this topic all right. So let's say here I'm trying to create a small permission for this model right you can see this model name and let me open in the python side to more clear so you can see this is our new model we already created in our last session right and the name is school student profile security example so let's say i will try to copy this one right and i will paste up oh, sorry not here here like model underscore id right and basically this is a many to one field so we can use here the reference and for here we can use the model underscore and the module name make sure like you can remove the dot and replace with underscore 
that's it then after like what we need to use here as a model name so before that let's add here a unique id which is mandatory like let's say school student profile and user all permissions and here we have to add the model name the actual model name the model name is ir.models.xf well here don't write down the ir ui view because this part is only for the creation of the views right so this is the main thing here we don't need to use the view part we have to use the access related model name we have to add here now let's say i will try to add here the simple name of this access sprite so let's say end user permission right and you can see here like we are using the name field you can see here the id field you can see here the model id and then we can use here a permission so let's say the perm underscore read all right then after like one 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 oh sorry one one and one so i write down a four fields like this but i will make sure like i will use the different name here all right so don't confuse here so those are the field name here we have to create and then after this is a boolean field right so you have to either press uh, either you have to add one or zero zero means you don't allow one means allow so i'm giving end user to access this model with full permission full permissions means all the crude operations they can do without any restrictions here all right so this is the thing and this security file we have to mention in the manifest file here so let's say security slash security underscore access underscore data dot xml and let me copy this name and test here to prevent the spelling mistakes right and now what about the csv file let me comment this part and let me show you here how to convert your csv file to the xml file so what we done for this record only but let's say for this record we have to create one more record here right so here i will do the same thing like this and i will copy the whole code here right and i will copy this one paste here the id let's say this is the id and you can see this is the name right and you can see here this is the model name so let me cut this one and i will pass here in the model level and you can see this is the group id right we already provide here the group id as a internal user can access the full permission so for that one you can see we don't use here we didn't use here actually that field so i will try to add here group underscore id and ref y because this is uh you can say this is a mini to one field so for that we can use here the ref cut paste and the full permission so let's say i will try to comment this file and i added this new xml file all right and let me restart the service i'm going to in the app store here 
trying to find out that module name and simple I will upgrade the module right now I can see the schools under you can see the profile is already ready right so I can create I can delete I can update the record including I can view the record right and here you can see in the model level in the security technical if I will visit the models right school dot student you can see the access rights is end user permission and if you go to here you can see the name is visible right with full permission you can see full permission is available so like this way you can create access rights in the XML file and this is very easy right there is a one more thing why we need to use this one what is the benefit if I will use the XML file so one more thing is let's say your module the school module continuously you are adding some features right while install this module so during that time like the csv file reload each and every time so if you want to prevent right to reload all these records access rights then simple you can use here no update equal to one and then after like while each and every time the developer will upgrade this module right so it won't be reload this permissions anyhow like until unless you are trying to change from the front end side but in the back end side then after if I will choose zero right and once I will upgrade the module it won't be work it won't be effect so this is the main purpose you can just try switch from CSV to the XML side so this is the benefit here otherwise like my suggestion is I use this one because this is sweet and short right you don't need to remember many things here same as like the XML code you can see here I created only two records and it consumes like let's say the whole file and whole file line is 21 and you can see here in a three lines it's created the record so it's good here to use the CSV file only not the XML file right I hope you understood how to create access rights in the XML side and what is the difference between CSV and the XML file. Still if you have any doubt please comment below and see you in next session.